Hello, everyone, and welcome to our UCLA Global Internship Program Info Session for our communication track. My name is Ana Arellano, and I'm coordinator for the Global Internship Program here at the UCLA Study Abroad Office. Uh, throughout the session, if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, please feel free to enter them into the chat or the Q&A. We will be having a Q&A session at the end, so just feel free to enter those um, as they come along, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So uh, it should be a short session. Uh, we'll be reviewing a couple of items, including why you may want to intern abroad and why we would encourage you to do so. Uh, an overview of our program, as well as the locations that we offer specifically for the communications track. We'll be reviewing the application, selection, and placement process, as well as going over some program funding options and some in upcoming info sessions. So the one you're currently attending is specifically for the communication track. We will be having location-specific info sessions for just all the locations that we offer uh, within the coming weeks. So we'll be providing more information on that, as well as communicating and uh, finalizing finalizing it with a Q and a So let's go ahead and begin. So why may you want to enter abroad? And why do we encourage you to intern abroad? Uh, number one, it, it does gain uh, help you gain a competitive edge in the job market. With the Global Internship Program, there are many transferable skills that we do hope you do earn, and we do are very confident that you will. But because of that, you are able to put it into a national location within your resume, within your cover letter. So being able to speak about the skills and being able to speak about your experience um, not only looks good on your resume, but it does give you that advantage amongst others who are possibly competing among the same job, um, and you have that additional skills that employers are looking for. Um, number two, it does increase your industrial knowledge. Um, like I mentioned, these are internships that you are hands on. You are working within the career sector. So it really um, broadens your perspective of what is available. Perhaps you're going to the communication track within journalism and media, for example. And within journalism and media, there are many sectors that could be divided into their reporting about health, reporting about uh, governmental affairs. So it also opens different perspectives of what sectors that could be of interest to you in your future endeavors. Um, number three, um, this ties in with number one about strengthening or having transferable skills, specifically in the Global Internship Program. You will be working on strengthening your communication, your team building, and your adaptability adaptiv skills. Um, for this reason, you are at a, with a host company, you are working internationally. So there's a lot of cultural differences that come with working not only internationally, but working with a diverse group. Um, so even though you are in an international location, for example, Prague, within Prague, there could be different cultures with, because Europe, for example, is so close to other regions that there's different types of ways to communicate with each other. Uh, so these are many skills that we do hope you do earn within the Global Internship Program that ties into making you a competitive applicant when you are applying to future jobs. Um, number four is a global network. This is a global internship. So not only will you have an international supervisor, you will be working in international setting. Um, these could become not only professional contacts, but also personal uh, contact. If you, let's say you go to Bogota, Colombia, you return, you have people to connect with, you have people to explore a little bit more. But also if you, let's say you are interested in going back after you graduate to professionally work or have a graduate program in that respective country, you do have that existing global network. So it's a very good resource to have um, handy. Um, and then finally, you are making progress towards your academic degree with the UCLA Global Internship Program. These are UCLA courses that you are enrolling in. This is a UCLA program. So everything is guaranteed to transfer into UCLA academic records. So no questions asked. Um, you will be making progress towards your degree with this uh, UCLA Global Internship Program. Uh, so just a very quick overview of the Global Internship Program. We also known it as GIP or GAP. Um, so just at a quick glance, this is a 10-week program and it ranges from mid-June to mid-August. The internship itself will be conducted over eight weeks. Um, you, In order to receive credit or academic credit for the Global Internship Program, you would be enrolling in an online course. And this would follow summer session A. So you would be from mid-June to mid-August conducting an online course for 10 weeks. So you finish your eight weeks on your internship and then the last two of the program, you are finishing your papers, your assignments for that respective internship course to receive credit. The mandatory internship course earns students four units. Like I mentioned, this is a mandatory course. Uh, for our students interested in financial aid or expanding their inter intercultural communication school skills, you could earn an additional four units for a total of eight units. And I'll teach you a little bit more about the academics in the coming slides, but just know your units that you earn on this program could range from four to eight. Um, these are academic internships. They are not paid, and we do offer in-country as well as virtual options. For those students interested in interning in-country, so going abroad for the summer, you are expected to intern 32 hours per week. Um, and those interested in conducting a virtual internship would be expected to intern anywhere from 20 to 30 hours per week. 
So the eligibility, eligibility criteria for the communication track is as follows. Um, although this is geared towards the communication department at UCLA, it is open to all majors and all minors. If let's say, for example, you are a psychology student interested in doing media or marketing, you are definitely qualified to participate. Um, as long as students have a minimum of a 3.0 GPA and have 90 units by the time the program starts, so by spring 2024, you do qualify for this program. 90 units, um, that can include transfer credit, that can include AP units, as long as they're applicable to your UCLA record, we would count that. So as long as you have 90 units or junior class standing by spring 2024, defined by units. Um, finally, you do require good academic standing. This does, deter this does depend per your school or your college, but generally this tends to be a 2.0 GPA per term and just making sure you're all up to date on your requirements. But good academic standing is your final requirement for the program. Um, enrolling on the Communication Track Global Internship Program, you would be enrolling in Communications 195. This is a four-unit course that you would be receiving credit for. This is a mandatory course. Um, this does not satisfy any communication major requirements, uh, but like I mentioned, it is open for anyone who is interested and you would be enrolling in that Communication 195 course. The additional course that we do offer is called CSC 130, and it's the Intercultural Communication in the Global Workplace course. This is really meant to complement the internship. Um, like I mentioned, you are in a different culture, you are in a different setting, working with diverse um, employees or colleagues. So because of that, this is really meant to complement how to interact with different cultures. How can you best communicate with your supervisor if you haven't heard back? If you're feeling a certain way, for example, of speaking with your colleague, working on a project, how can you perfect that communication to not only help you with your internship, but just master that and beyond. So it's really, like I mentioned, really good meant to complement the internship. This is an optional course. It is not required. However, if you do decide to enroll, it will earn you a total of eight units for the program. For our students interested in applying the UCLA financial aid towards a global internship program, you are required to enroll in both the internship course and the CSE 130 course. Um, and that's because you need to be an enrolled full-time student earning at least eight units in order to qualify for financial aid. So our UCLA financial aid students both of these courses are mandatory for you. If you do not intend to use financial aid, only the Communications 195 course is mandatory. Um, the CSC 130 course, I want to um, uh, finalize by adding that for the major, um, this can be petitioned to satisfy one communication upper division elective course. Uh, just something to keep in mind if you are interested in enrolling. So communication uh, global interest program is offered in a couple locations that includes Berlin. Um, the Berlin program, uh, I want to emphasize that it is a law only track. Uh, we also offer Bogota, we offer Buenos Aires, Cape Town, Prague, Singapore, and virtual. On the right, you'll see a couple of sectors that we have within the communication field. Not all of these career sectors are within all locations, but just something to give you a good sense of what it is that we do offer within the communications track. That includes advertising, marketing, public relations, um, international business, journalism and media, law. Uh, if that's something you are interested in, these programs would be a good fit for you. Um, I do want to mention that you see an asterisk between Bogota and Buenos Aires. Uh, some placements within these locations do require some basic level of Spanish, and that's because you're interacting with members of the community or perhaps just with the respective colleagues, but mostly members of the community. Um, if you do not have any basic level Spanish skills or do not speak any Spanish, um, I do still encourage you to apply. Uh, these Spanish skills are not applicable to all placements. Just a couple, uh, so just please don't let that hinder you. If you have any questions about that requirement, feel free to send me an email. We're happy to just dive in a little bit further about what that may look like. So the application selection and placement process. Uh, we do have a short video to go over more what to expect after you submit your application, what is needed for your application. Um, it should take about a minute and a half, and let me make sure I'm sharing my audio link. The UCLA Global Internship Program. Placement process and timeline. The Global Internship Program offers UCLA students the opportunity to gain a competitive edge in the job market with an eight-week international summer internship. Students receive direct UCLA credit and secure an internship based on their academic, professional, and personal goals. After an application is submitted, the student will interview with our program partners in the host country to assess their qualifications, experience, goals and discuss possible internship placements. In January, after an extensive review, students are notified of their application status. If accepted, they must submit a non-refundable $300 deposit to secure their spot on the program. 
In February, students must pay the full program fee or submit a financial aid agreement form. This payment is used to finalize and secure all program logistics, such as housing. This is also the last chance to withdraw from the program without any additional financial penalty. Starting in April and moving into early June, the internship placement process will occur. Our program partners will arrange interviews with local organizations and companies based on each student's individual goals. Students will interview with one host company at a time. Ongoing interviews will continue with prospective internship site managers until there is a match between both the student and the host company. We guarantee all students an international internship placement. Visit ieo.ucla.edu slash global internships to view our programs, dates and deadlines, funding resources, and more. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to stop sharing and share my other presentation once more. Um, it just gives a very quick overview of what to expect after you submit your application, if that's something that you are interested in doing, which we really hope you are. Um, so with that said, like I mentioned, after you submit your application, um, you would be going through an advising call. And after that, you would be going through ongoing interviews with one host company at a time. So it, it's more, it, it's not a very quick process. It does take their time. And the reason I want to emphasize that is because we want to make sure that we are securing you an internship that, that meets all your goals or your interest. Um, and also as well as aligning you with an internship based on the experience that you have. So we want to make sure that it's a well-fit internship. Um, and like the video says, we do guarantee you all students an internship placement. Um, so if you have any questions about that placement process, feel free to enter them in the Q&A or in the chat, and we'll address them at the end of the presentation. Very quickly, I do want to show that we do have some sample internship placements available to you. Um, let's say, for example, you're interested in doing the uh, communications in Bogota program or communications in Berlin program. This page right over here gives you a good sense of possible placement and possible companies um, that include your possible roles. Um, I do want to give a disclaimer that this does not encompass, it's not a, a full list of all the possible placements you may have, as well as all the possible placements that students have had. So just to give you a good sense of what is potentially offered. Um, and it's a very good tool. Let's say, for example, if you're debating going to one location versus the other. So just something to keep in mind, this is available to you on our program page brochure under sample internship placements. So how do I apply? I do hope I captured your interest on how on your for the global internship program. If you are interested in applying, uh, you will be needing to submit your resume and a statement of purpose. Your resume must be up to date. Please take the time to make sure it's appropriately formatted and make sure it's spell checked. This will be submitted to prospective employers. So you want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward. Um, your statement of purpose, we will be asking just a little bit about yourself, why you are interested in interning, where you are applying to, for example, why Berlin, why Colombia, why uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, want to know a little bit more about your career, career goals. How might this internship foster that? How may it bring new opportunities? So just how will it make an impact into your career goals? Um, and finally, why should you be selected? All these responses are character limited, uh, either between 600 to 700, and they do include a spaces. So they're short responses. So want to know a little bit more about yourself and your intention to apply for the Global Internship Program. If you are interested in applying, our applications are now open. They open today and they are open until November 27th. So it's a very short period. Uh, I would encourage all students to apply sooner than later. This is not a first come first serve system. However, the sooner you apply, the closer or quicker you would have your advising call with our host partners abroad. And this is very important because the longer you wait, let's say for example, you wait until November 27th, your advising call can conflict with your final at UCLA. So in order to avoid having scheduling your calls during finals while you are studying, while you have your actual final exams, um, the sooner you submit, the better it is. Um, and like I mentioned, during this advising sessions, you explain a little bit more about why you are interested in this program. And then as well, our partners get to know more about you, um, why you are interested. Can they offer you an internship based on your interests, on your goals, and your experience? Um, so those advising calls are very, very important. That's the next step after your application, after submitting your application. Um, and the sooner you do it, we would say the better. Um, program funding options. Uh, for students interested in using the UCLA financial aid, you can do so as long as you continue to be eligible for that aid. Financial aid does consist of, consist of scholarship grants and loans. I want to emphasize that summer aid tends to be more loan heavy. There are grants that are available during the academic year that are not available during the summer, which is what makes the summer aid more loan heavy. 
how much a student decides to accept and the A determines how much they would pay out of pockets. So let's say, for example, your program costs $12,000, 6,000 you receive in grants and 6,000 in loans, and you do not want to accept, accept the 6,000 in loans, then you would be responsible for paying those 6,000 out of pocket before the program begins. So there's something to keep in mind, financial aid is applicable, but it is more loan heavy. In order to have financial aid applied to your program, uh, you would submit the 2024 and 2025 FAFSA, FAFSA or DREAM Act. Um, separately as well, when you are submitting your global internship program application, you will be asked if you intend to use financial aid to cover the cost of the program. Please make sure you're indicating yes or no as appropriately. Um, if you indicate yes, you would be prompted additional paperwork or additional forms. If you indicate no, that would be it for the financial aid aspects. Uh, but that does, uh, if you indicate no by accident, for example, you cannot return to that question, so just make sure you're paying close attention to the financial aid aspect of it. Oh, and then quickly, I, I mentioned this already, but want to reiterate that for students interested in financial aid, you must enroll in both courses, the Internship 195 course, as well as the CSC 130. So just something to do keep in mind. So scholarships, there are many scholarships that are available. Um, something I do want to share is that scholarships sometimes are very under applied to. Um, I'm not saying that if you apply, that guarantees you a scholarship, but it does increase your chances. And I would strongly, strongly encourage it. It's just free money that you do not have to repay back. So very good opportunity to help fund the program. Um, our office itself sponsors the IEO Global Internship Scholarship where students can earn up to $3,000. There's a European scholarship. There's a middle income scholarship. There's identity-based scholarships. There's federal scholarships. There's a lot available out there. Um, for example, if you're a Pell Grant recipient, the Benjamin and Gilman Scholarship is a really good opportunity for up to $5,000. If you have questions about scholarships or opportunities, uh, our website does provide a good uh, resource of websites of where to find that as well as when applications open, when they close. Um, but I'm also happy to help if you have any questions about that. So finally, I want to mention that it's not just all work. The Global Internship Program, we do, of course, uh, want to emphasize this is a rigorous program. This is, you are interning for a company 32 hours a, uh, a week, at least if you're in person, or 20 to 30 if you are virtual. Uh, but there are opportunities for you to have fun, for you to explore the city, for you to explore the country. All of our programs provide uh, inclusions that encourage social activities for you to get to know a little bit more about the whole city, where you are living, where you will be spending those eight weeks abroad. Uh, like I mentioned, we will be having location-specific info sessions. So if you're interested in going to Cape Town, maybe you're interested in going to Bogota, Berlin, uh, get, join us and learn a little bit more about what to expect there. Uh, meet our program partners, uh, the people that will be hosting you, that will be preparing these info sessions, that will be doing the advising calls. So it's a really good opportunity just to know a little bit more about what to expect when you are on site. And then lastly, I do want to share that we do have some Global Internship Program student ambassadors. These are students um, like yourself, their peers. They studied abroad this past summer, 2023, with the Global Internship Program, and they would love to speak about their experience. Uh, they are filtered both by academic track and location. Um, this is the first year that we are having the communications track, so unfortunately there would be none for academic track. However, uh, we do have locations in Cape Town, we do have locations in Bogota, and even if these students did not have the same academic track that you are interested in, they were in the same location that you um, may be interested in. So there's still a very good tool to speak more about what it's like to, to live in Berlin. What does the currency exchange look like? What does that uh, time management look like between managing the online course and then being able to enjoy the city as well as your internship. So a lot of still a lot of good feedback that is available from our student ambassadors. Um, on this page, you can learn a little bit more about themselves, what they're majoring in, what they hope to study, their favorite part of the program. And you can also connect with them directly. So ask away any questions that you may have directly about their experience. Um, if you have any program logistic questions, for example, finances, next steps, uh, that I would defer to per, uh, the questions to myself or our IEO staff as logistics are always changing. So they're there just to speak a little bit more about their experience and just what they, it was like for them on the program. So I do hope I kept your interest to apply for the Global Internship Program. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, my email is on the screen. Um, it's aariano at iel.ucla.edu. Happy to reply via email. Also happy to schedule an appointment if that's something you're interested in. Um, otherwise, feel free to unmute yourself if you have any questions or enter them in the Q&A 